Hello again everyone, Joanne here with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room this afternoon. Today we're going to be making this beautiful card with our Jar of Love bundle from the annual catalog. Look how pretty that came. Now, I, can, I can't take the credit for the design of this card because I just was looking at the front of our annual catalog and this is where I got my inspiration right here. A lot of times I get blocked or I get, um, I just don't feel creative. So sometimes I just go to the catalog and I go to where the stamp set or the bundle that I want to um, use that day, whichever it may be, and there's always these most wonderful, wonderful examples. And you can start to play with anything you have. Like this is penned and painted. Okay? If you had gotten that stamp set and wanted to mess around with it that day and just didn't know where to start, you could look right at the top of the catalog. Look at that beautiful ink on ink, tone on tone. Beautiful. And this is the way our annual catalog is throughout the entire book. Anywhere you go. I've done many things with the Sheltering Tree stamp set. And right down here is a nice thinking of you and a nice effect with the leaves right there. And how to use some DSP on the side. Very beautiful. Just fun. Don't forget our annual catalog, guys. Um, even though it is the occasions catalog with celebration is going to be going off on the 31st of March. Okay. So again, if you order $50 in product uh, from any of the three, any of the two catalogs, you will get to receive um, a free item from the celebration. And then there's a little brochure with three extra items. Also, let me get that and show that to you. Right here is the um, is the new one, and there's three nice sets in here. Again, if you order $50 in product, then you get to choose from these two catalogs. Along with that, because then you will, you will satisfy my requirement of $25 in product, I will send you two free card kits with envelopes. Nothing will be stamped. You'll just get the embellishments and um, the card bases and uh, everything that you see here, the doily, everything you see, but nothing will be stamped. That's a rule by Stampin' Up! So that's with the $25 order. Okay, um, the other thing I wanted to go over with you guys before we get to making this card is that this really is the best time to sign up if you want to be a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! You can be a crafting demonstrator. If you are just thinking, if you are thinking about or your order gets close to $100, you might want to think about just doing it for this one time because then you can get $125 worth of product for $99, plus you get two celebration items, then you get the two free card kits from me, and um, then, because our new annual catalog will be coming out, you will get it first, and you will get to do what's called a pre-order. So if you want any more information about that, you can contact me through my email at joannemaddie at outlook.com, and I'll be back in just a moment with all the elements, and we're going to put this card together. Okay, back again. Now, I love this card. I really do, and I love the mint macaron as the background, but... It's flat, so I wanted to add an element of dimension to it, so I decided to stick this one in an embossing folder. It's very simple, and I'm using the polka dot embossing folder, and it, this is very simple. Any card fits in here just perfectly. You just put it right into the embossing folder, just like that. Fold it down. It's in there perfectly. See? So you just lay it right in there. Very easy once your card is scored. Now I've got my other um, plate uh, down here and I have it open to tab two, tab to tab one, okay? And now I've got my sandwich of my plates and you can see these plates right here, I just use for embossing. So this is my embossing set and they're not cut at all. I just use these for embossing. You'll really save on plates if you have two sets. Okay, so I'm going to just crank this through the Big Shot. Okay. 
and let me get this out of the embossing folder here. Oh, how nice. Oh, now that made it really fun. That made it really fun right there. Love that. Okay, let me put this to the side and get our big shot out of the way. And now we can start to layer our card a little bit. Um, let me give you the dimensions of this piece right here. And this goes on top of the doily. And it is three and three quarter by three. Okay, that's what this dimension is right here. I love that with the polka dots. Okay, then what will happen is the doily will go down just like that. Okay. Um, behind here, though, I wanted to do some gold metallic thread. And this is so simple. Okay. The only thing you do is take some snail. But well, this is what I do. And I just put some right there in the middle. Okay. And I take my metallic thread and I just loop it sticking it into the snail as I go. And this really creates fun in a card. Let me roll some of this off of here and we'll just use it up. Snip that right there. Okay, and I just kind of go back and forth just looping it around and because I have this doily offset to one side or my project kind of offset, uh, like the doilies on one side and then the element is on the other. I'm just putting this gold metallic thread on one side. You could do whatever you want. Nothing's wrong. You can't get it wrong. Okay, and I just keep going until I use it up. And it's going to show mostly out the top. And I don't want to go like off of the card. Okay, and I just kind of keep looping. Just very easy. And it doesn't matter what a mess it looks like down there. Let me get this. I can't pick it up. I'm just going to curl that into itself. And I have my gold element right there. Then I take my doily. There is a right and a wrong side to the doily, okay? You can tell. Like this is uh, flat, and then this, ha this is kind of raised and smooth. You can tell that there is a right side and a wrong side. Okay, so I just take my snail, and where it's solid, I just put my snail down. Bring my card in, and just layer this to the side. Just a little bit, and let your gold just come up through there a little bit. Perfect. Then you take your little piece right here and use your corner rounder. And I just rounded the corners on the top. And then after we do all of our stamping, this will go right here. Okay, I'm going to come back, get ready with the ink and everything, and we'll put it together. Okay, now we have the Misty. And with our stamp set, I've got the small jar right here. This stamp set has 37 stamps in it, guys. 37 stamps. I love that I film in my craft room because I have stuff all over the place. And I can really get to it um, whenever I just have a thought and need to pick it up for you guys. But yes, this has 37 stamps in it. It's so much fun, this stamp set right here. Um, so, I've got the little jar right here, and you see I've got it in the misty because I'm going to use the tip-top tote, and I wanted to make sure that I got a good solid color. The other one that I used, I used chocolate chip, but I wanted to stay in the in colors, so that's why I changed to tip-top tote. So, I'm just going to kind of flatten that out right there and take my ink pad, turn it upside down. ink it up. And I'm just having to flip this back and forth because I'm on camera and I'm just real close to you guys. And I'm going to press. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. We're going to do it one more time. 
you know, you can you can use it like a book like this, but I have other things over here right now that I've pulled in so that I can um, get this part of the video completed for you guys. I took a webinar and um, I've been having trouble with like being on camera and showing you guys in one take, you know, what what I do and the webinar suggested to do it in segments so I'm trying to do this video in segments I really like it because I'm able to move things pull them pull other things back in and get back on camera with you guys okay as you can see I got a really nice solid image there with the misty it just came a little bit darker so I'm gonna move the magnets move this off of there and I'm just gonna move this aside and I'll clean that stamp in a moment. <clears throat> okay, so we've got that stamped on our card. And um, I'm going to go to the side there and bring these other elements in. Because I realize I have forgotten to mount the water in the jar. Very quick fix. Let me get my ink over here. I used, um, let's see, what did I use? Pool Party with a uh, little water right there. Very simple. See, they all come in just like this, and uh, you could just peel it off, get what you need. It's very, very simple. Okay, I'm going to just take that flower off of there and put this on the clear block. Let's bring this in right here. Yes, yeah, so the webinar was like, um, do it in segments and you'll do better at it. So I'm trying that today. I like it. Um, it's easier for me, even though I forgot a couple of things. But like I said, I'm right here in the craft room. I should have had a foam pad underneath this, so let's hope it comes out okay. I'll just leave it on there a little bit. Okay, we're good. Should have used the foam pad, though. Okay, let's close up the pool party. Love that. Let me get my foam pad. <laughs> and now we're going to move this out of the way. I'll close up my stamp set. And let's bring this in. And this, I just have scrap paper. Just some scrap right here. Okay. So we're done with our tip top taupe and I'm staying with the in colors, okay? The 2015, 2017 in colors, tip top taupe, watermelon wonder, mint macaron, delightful Dijon, cucumber crush. So right now I'm going to go ahead and stamp the, um, the larger part of the flower. And on this stamp set they have, they put the little arrow so that you know uh, what's up with uh, the top of the stamp so you can line up the second generation of it. Or actually this is going to be the first generation on top of the second generation. So first we're going to do the Watermelon Wonder. I chose that with the larger flower. Of course you could do this in, <clears throat> in any color that you like. And so I ink this up over here in the Watermelon Wonder. I have a piece of scrap paper right here and I stamp it off okay and now this is now the second generation and I stamp it right here love that okay and I need two of these so ink it up stamp it off and right there nice isn't that a beautiful color oh, I'm gonna miss watermelon wonder mm, mm, mm. okay then the inside of it you want first generation you want it darker Okay, so you line it up. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Hopefully I can line it up the best I can, being behind the camera, but we're good. Oh yeah, that's great. Perfect. What a vibrant, pretty, pretty color. Right there. Gorgeous. Okay, then I, they have like these little seeds right here. Okay. I'm going to close my Watermelon Wonder and open my Tip Top Taupe again. And just put the little seeds right up here. 
Isn't that adorable? It really makes it. It really gives it dimension. Isn't that beautiful? How much fun. Okay, so there's that. We've got that stamped. Now we're going to go in with um, our mint macaron. And that I'm going to do the itty bitty flowers. Let's see, where did I have that itty bitty flower? I didn't get that one out either. My goodness. <clears throat> Here it is. Just pick that right out of there. I'll take that off, put this on, and this has an arrow if you were going to layer it on the other flowers, but I just want to use this alone and um, the mint macaron, and I'm going to make three of them. Okay, and I'm just doing this on scrap paper. Great. Then I want to come in with our um, the larger flower right here, and these are two together. They come two together, okay? And with this, let me get right up there in the camera. We're going to use Delightful Dijon. <clears throat> and the first time we stamp with the arrow up, okay, we're going to go ahead and stamp off and stamp right there. Now, when you cut this out with the framelits, they're not hooked together like the stamp. They come out separate, okay? At first, when I, um, when I was messing with it, I was like, oh, are they hooked together? So I thought I'd just pass it on to you, or maybe that was just me thinking something silly. But they, <laughs> they, are, they do come out as separate flowers, as you'll see when, um, after I cut these out. Okay, and then there's the center. Isn't that beautiful? I love that in Delightful Dijon. Look how nice those, all those colors just marry together beautifully. Okay, now we're, I'm going to take our um, little leaf here. Well, it's not a leaf, it's a fern. And I'm going to use my Cucumber Crush. Guys, with this card we've used every single ink. Uh, color in the In Colors collection. Um, I put the number for the collection up at the front of the video. Now this um, Cucumber Crush, I'm just going to do it straight down and up. And I'm going to utilize my space and down and up. And I'll cut those two out. Fantastic. We are getting our card together, guys. Okay, now all of our stamping is done. I'll be right back with everything cut out, and we'll put it together. <laughs> 